Hi guys. Welcome, welcome to the messy kitchen, you guys. Glad to have you here. So, let's practice some transfer swiping. Um, I didn't show you my base coat because it's nothing more than a dirty cup of all my previous pours of today that were complete epic failures, every single one of them. I've had nothing but issues today. Not so much with my paints, but with my composition. Big gooey bit right there. But with my composition. So, I'm going to try to keep things super simple and kind of really crisp, I think. So let's put a glove on and let's go. So we're gonna swipe in one place and we're gonna transfer it somewhere else. So like I said, this is just a mix of my dirty base pores. Okay, let's go, let's go guys. So my colors are kind of weird tonight. A lot of them are, are kind of made up. I did a big clean up this morning. This is a bright orange. Um, I think it started actually as I think it started as yellow and I mixed some yellow together and I didn't like it and I mixed yellow with something else and anyway it came out orange so that's what we're doing we're just using leftovers and all my colors actually are all mixed up so this one is started as red Christmas red it was supposed to be neon red and it was really really pink so something else got mixed into that again I don't know what it is but it's pretty. So I was busy girl today, you guys. I use painting as a reward when I've done all my chores. I, I think I owe it to myself to paint. So I got up really early this morning because I am doing a collaboration with Nikki, Michelle, and Jessica coming up on the 19th of December. And so I kind of been trying to get this piece together and I'm not really doing a great job at it right now. So I tried multiple times this morning and nothing was really working for me. So I decided to really frustrate myself and go Christmas shopping. So I should have just pitched my paint out the window because Christmas shopping is absolutely horrible and people are so incredibly rude. And I get into the parking lot at 10 o'clock and there's like people rallying for parking spots when 50 yards up the way there's an empty spot but no this man wants one spot and so he's kind of crossways in the alley and oh it's awful I hate it I'll go through my colors I'll put them in my description box guys this one this one is super pretty this is Grenache mixed with the hot pink from the dollar store we're gonna put lots of color in and this is my equivalent to titanium buff. Anyway, off I go, go to the store. And to start off with, Greater Victoria was under a cold spell last night. And I had this, this like half an inch of frost on my car. It was really, really pretty. So I got there, got there, rallied for my parking lot, went into the mall, only to find that the mall is not even open until 10 o'clock. And it's like, what is wrong with you guys? It's Christmas. It's supposed to be open. Okay, black cell mix. So I did a little bit of shopping in the Dollar Tree because that's all that was open. And then I carried on my merry way. And I came home, I tried to paint. I couldn't get anything happening for composition. And so I just had a totally lazy day watch some TV. What I did do though, I don't know if you guys are into paper making and crafting. I'm just going to mix this around, but I decided that I wanted some of those kind of old style paper snowflakes to hang above my Christmas tree and above my Santa display. So I dragged out all my paper, my scissors and my crafting supplies and I got busy making snowflakes and I haven't done it for like a really, really long time. All right, guys, here we go. Let's swipe. Haven't done it for like a really long time. And I folded my first piece of paper and I thought, oh, yeah, okay, I got this. And I cut it and I let it go. And I had an entire collection of nothing but, nothing but uh, odd sized shapes and pieces of confetti. All right, we're going to put that there. And then we're going to pour out our base tile. Just a. I don't know, 10 inch maybe, hexagonal tire. These are super cheap. Yeah, I had confetti all over everywhere. 
But I got my snowflakes made. They're quite pretty actually. And that was it, totally lazy day. So we're gonna spin this a little bit. Maybe just kind of wiggle it around. So here's another tip for paint pouring, you guys. If you're like me and you wear glasses, stop every once in a while and give them a wash. This morning, the three pieces that I poured, I thought my colors, oh goodness, I'm stuck to the bag. My colors were really, really poor. I thought, what, what is going on? And then I realized that my glasses were so dirty, I couldn't see through them. All right, let's pick up. Actually, let's pick up some of this. It's kind of a weird color, but it's quite pretty. Yeah, I was looking through fog. All right, here we go, my friends. All right, there is one. Not totally fond of that already. And then let's pick up a little bit of these pretty cells in here. I'm going to try not to overkill this. Less is more. Less is more. All right, let's put this over here in a safe zone. And let's give this a little bit of a shift before I spin it. Tip, tip, tip. So I'm trying to learn how much paint these tiles take so that when I spin it, I don't have a colossal mess because this is the most messy technique in the world. And I have more than once splattered paint absolutely everywhere. All right, let's come off of here. Well, it's pretty clean, I like that. I like crispy lines, as you all know. So let's put that down. And let's just scoop up our plate. So I try not to waste any paint, you guys. All this paint will just get recycled back onto my board. For future pours. Eventually, it gets really, really thick and sticky, and so I, this is going to sound funny, I strain it through a set of pantyhose. Gauze would work too. All right. Okay, let's give it a spin. Let's take a little more off. I keep saying I'm going to spin it, but I don't want paint just everywhere. Okay, here we go, guys. So we have some really pretty lines if we want it to modify. Do we want to modify? We do. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this is a, I don't know, some sort of fancy tool from, you know, where? The dollar store. All right, guys, you're just going to go in like always, making some little lines. Nice and crisp lines. I tried to do this this morning, too. Pre-cup of coffee, it wasn't exactly a 
a winning combination. So now we're just going to go in and pull some of these out. Just little movements. It's all it takes. Don't have to, uh, don't have to dig in or do anything really hard. Just gentle movements. Where am I going? See that? We just took out those horrible white freckles. I don't want to go too crazy with the mods. Maybe something in here though. So normally, and I talk about this all the time, I don't have a lot of like luck with Glidden Essentials, but for whatever reason, this is Glidden Essentials and there's nothing in it. It's right out of the can. And it's not something I normally do. Usually I mix it, you guys all know, I normally mix it with a really good sized scoop of Bell's Bar Ultra Deep Base. Um, I don't know if it's just, I don't know, but it's working fine. So just right out of the can, glit and paint. I like it. So it's nice to not have to add a whole bunch of stuff. do a whole lot to this piece. You guys want to make some curly cues? I don't know if we do or not. I think we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to spin it a little bit though just to expand those lines a tiny bit as you can see. They definitely expand when you spin. Let's do something. Let's do something in here. Yeah, okay, guys, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave this alone. Um, I really like crispy, clean lines and negative space, as you all know. Um, I'm not a whole full coverage type gal. Um, I've seen some beautiful pieces that are absolutely full coverage. It's just, it's not for me. It really isn't. So I am going to love you and leave you here. And thank you all so much for joining me in the kitchen tonight. Uh, I appreciate all your support. Each and every one of you makes this all so much more fun. All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon. Bye for now, guys.